Red Hot Minnesota Twins, winners of five straight, headed into the Windy City for a series finale with the Chicago White Sox. The Twins get off to the strong start, top of the first. Justin Morneau facing Mark Burley, and he's going to stroke one into center field. That's going to bring in the O-Dog, Orlando Hudson, and Joe Maurer, 2-0 Minnesota. Top of the third, it's Maurer with one on and one out. To the pitch to Maurer, he swings and drives one down the left field line. It's a fair ball. This will catch the corner. Maurer is going to get another extra base hit. A double for Maurer. Fan scores and the Twins have the lead back at 3-2. Maurer with the RBI. Two batters later, Michael Kadire. Going to drop one into right field. Maurer's going to score. Minnesota up 4-2. White Sox come back, though, down 4-3. Gordon Beckham, the frozen rope to left. That would tie the game at four apiece. Beckham's first home run of the season. Bottom of the eighth. Game tied at four. Andrew Jones rips one to left field. That's going to bring in a run. White Sox up 5-4. to four. In the ninth inning, Bobby Jenks trying to preserve the win against his former teammate, Jim Tomei. And here's the pitch. And a fly ball to left field. Backing off Pierre. He won't get it. It's over his head. Howdy on his way to third. Howdy is being waved home. They're going to have a ball. Scotty, the Scotty, Scotty. Shots win 5-4. Not good base running there as Minnesota goes down. Their five-game winning streak is over. A solid outing by Nick Blackburn. Seven and two-thirds. Gives up eight hits, five runs. But he did allow three home runs. Maurer and Morneau, they combine to go three for eight with three RBIs.